So who is Prodi VOP? Uh, Prodi VOP is a recording artist from Jamaica. Okay. Um, VOP stands for Voice of the People. And um, Prodi is a shout for former Prodigal. Uh, most people who know me back in the days as Prodigal so, so it's a total rebrand. Okay, so why the name change? Is it for the rebranding or? Yeah, it's it, the name change is for rebranding, and um, also accuracy in finding me and stuff because you know everything is social media, everything is on the web now. Yeah. And when you type radical sun, there's so many radical suns, everybody is radical sun. Okay. So I mean, I would pop up before, but I didn't like that. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so when you say the voice of the people, which people specifically? The people. <laughs> um, it's the voice of the people. I I coined the phrase. I echo the sentiments um, of the youths and the people from the walls and the ghetto to the, the, the ears of kings of us and to the parliamentary and to the people who are in power and are somewhat of the upper echelon that can help the people. But those people who are from the lower class can't do reach them. Okay, nice. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, and like you just said, um, I first saw you perform as Prodigal Son, <laughs> and I'm sure everyone that was there would agree that the performance was like a movie. Um, <laughs> now that you're Prodigy VOP, would you say that the experience is the same? Is yes, you get the same is. reaction from the crowd? Definitely. Um, it, it only gets better because um, there are a lot of things that, I mean, back then, even performing in a school or performing wherever, there are certain stipulations, certain restrictions. I think I've grown over the years, I've matured, um, my talent has expanded. So it's, it's just all better for me. Okay. Good, good, good. And I really like your song, um, Tears I Cry. I really love that and I watched the video repeatedly mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me about the inspiration behind that? And It's a, um, Tears I Cry, I would consider it to be somewhat self-explanatory because it's, it's like I'm singing from my situation. I'm singing from where I'm coming from, Kingston 13, downtown. Singing from the point of, I mean, a youth who used to live on the streets. So I've seen it all, or seen enough to know that these people need help, but sometimes help just never come. So it's just, rather than mope about the situation, in the summer I was trying to give some solution. Let's go the way you can do, you know, and just make it happen for you. Because enough time, every youth in the ghetto can realize that. Sometimes you want cry and you walk in and she just like wipe the tears because she really don't want to see, I want you to see her cry. You know, so it's tears I cry for the people. Okay, all right. And the message is quite similar to another another song that I really like, Head Kia Hot So, right? Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a quite a positive um, message that you're carrying across in them in the sense that you're highlighting real issues and it's not just, you know, commercial stuff that you're speaking about. And I also noticed that you get a lot of beef with for your music. I don't understand why that would be if your message is so powerful. Can you explain? I, I somewhat think that a lot of people, because I started out doing gospel music, I think a lot of people believe, one, those who are traditionalists think that it wasn't befitting in the first place. And then um, those who are not traditionalists loved it and accept it. So because I said, hey, I'm, I'm doing positive music, I'm doing conscious music, I don't want labels on me anymore. I don't want to be considered a gospel artist, I want to be an artist. Then a lot of people feel like, oh, they, they have some level of ownership towards what I do before, so no, oh, why will you leave us and go to them? But I'm not leaving anybody. I'm just widening their eyes and I'm broadening the, the, the platform. Okay, all right then. So now let's talk about your uh, EP. For those people that don't know, Party just released a new EP called The Voice of the People in June this year. So can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, um, The Voice of the People um, EP, it was a success. Um, still continue to be a success. Um, thank you so much. And um, thanks to the fans because I see, I mean, the mainstream music people, they come out and they support. It was, um, 
what I know is that constantly people talk about it. The performance was good if I might say so myself. The <laughs> band was off the chain. And the songs are good. Right. Um, the songs are considered to be an album, like a melting pot. Okay. There's a little bit of everything, right. something for everybody. So you can just, I mean, go online and check it out. Probably VOP at iTunes and download it. It's for your listening pleasure. And just peruse the music and see if you like it. I definitely will after this. Okay, um, so one of your singles, Circle Small. Yeah. Tell us about that because that was quite popular. Um, Circle Small, it's it's the it's the it's one of the big tracks. It's been played everywhere. It's a slang now in Jamaica. Young Circle Small. It's simply talking about keeping the people who are trustworthy and the people who've been there with you from nowhere yeah. close to you, and not because you know people start calling you. And you walk on the street and somebody know your face mean that you should push aside the people who have been around you. So I keep my circle small and um, friends are not, for me, friendship you earn it. You know, it's not just get up and say everybody are your friend, you know. For me, it doesn't come overnight. So my circle have people that work, that been with me forever. Mm -hmm. From a started out until now, and that's why I like it. I mean, there's always room for people and for additional because you evolve and you grow. So, circle small is not necessarily saying that we don't want friends, okay. that's not it. It's just a kind of phrase connotation that listen, the people who are there with us will continue to keep them with us until they decide they want to. Oh, I hope I'm in the circle. You're always in the circle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Birdies in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, and um, love me like this. Ah, everybody needs love, don't you think so? Of course. Yeah, Why? because I mean, a lot of people hold why love song. The Bible said, um, every commandment I love and love. That's what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. and never me write it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and everybody needs love. Your, your kids need love in the, in that type of way. You give platonic love, and then you have intimate and relationship love. And um, I don't know, I'm just a lover. <laughs> okay. Why is a lover, everybody? A lover. No, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's move outside of like party as a musician and an artist. What do you do for fun? Ah, well, in recent time, I haven't been doing much for fun because. I'm just having fun doing me. Okay. Okay, I have a better uh, question. We just had the World Cup. Who did you support? Oh, uh, definitely. Germany is my team. Uh, yeah, Germany. Uh, and listen, England. Let me tell you. <laughs> for football in general, I'm an English Premier League okay. person. And I'm a which um, which team? Manchester United is. Oh my team. no, that's his best friend. No. Yeah. It's and, Arsenal. Uh, but it's okay. I mean my my, my son. He's an Arsenal fan. Okay. I'm Manchester United. I'm Wayne Rooney. I'm, 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 I'm Van Persie. I'm, come on, don't do that to me. Van Persie? Where, where did Van Persie originate from? Doesn't matter, right? Don't He's do that. Butter. He is at Manchester United. I'm going to move right along. <laughs> move right along. <laughs> That's great. That's great. All right. So, do you do like any? Do you play football? Yeah, I do a press. Nice. Yeah. You do what? Soccer. What's that? Same as football. No, in America they use their hands and they say it's football. Okay. And we use our feet, feet. and it's soccer. So it's football. <laughs> you know, no. So I don't understand the logic behind picking up the ball with your hands and it's football. football. But um, anyways, I, I don't make the rules. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I play football in real life, and I do play a lot of FIFA. <laughs> so that's my that's my thing. I do FIFA and I love tracks. Yeah. So I'll be at every game that there is as long as I'm around or not on tour or something like that. Okay, great, great, great. Tracks. So do you think you are a track fan because you are Jamaican or? No, I used to do track. Really? Okay, great. So. That's nice, that's don't, nice. Don't mess with me. <laughs> okay, what was, your, what was your event? What was your race? 100. Um, yeah, yeah, sprint and um, I used to do 200 and so I would always be performed by what I can't do this time to go and the African butter I mean, never yeah. come alive. <laughs> you don't have no time for that. Yeah. No, no, no. Take and too long for them. This is a completely random question now. If me and you were to go to a pizza place, what three toppings would you get? I don't do pizza. One. But... It's I good would, for you. Yeah, I would get 
I I would definitely get vegetable. Yeah. Like pineapples. Okay. As a topping. I wouldn't get cheese. I I'd, I'd get Yeah. I'm boring with food. So I'd get pineapples, I'd get chicken, um they put fish from pizza. <laughs> yeah, something like Ew. that. I don't do I don't do um Bacon. My shoes and bacon. No, I don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, so this was party. I did boring pizza. Ah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And the vegans say yes. I like that. Pizza. <laughs> Can you put some peanuts on it too? Peanuts on the pizza? I've never. I, I don't and think that, I do I'm just creating my own pizza. Oh, okay. So it's not a commercial pizza place, pizza. Roddy pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza, but if you prefer his music, you can go check out the Voice of the People EP on uh, what's your iTunes? Can you say it again? It's Roddy VOP. You just type in Prodigal Son. It's still there, Prodigal Son. Okay. You get, you find uh, everything. All right. Thanks. And if you want to find me social media, yeah, what is that? P R O D I V O P. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Click on like and give your comment. Give your comments and subscribe to the, the YouTube channel. Yep. Well, this is Birdie and Roddy signing out. Peace.